Okay, hi everyone. Okay, guess what I'm making? I'm making apple butter. And I'm just I just use the apples that I have, you know, that I was blessed with. My our dear friends Dale and Emily Tool gave us apples. And so um I'm gonna make apple butter in Margaret's kitchen. Welcome to my channel, Margaret's Kitchen, Comidas de Mi Familia, my authentic New Mexico cookbook. So we're making apple butter. Uh, let's get started. Okay, so to start, we're gonna, we probably have about five pounds of, of different types of apples, yellow apples, red apples, green apples. You start to cut them in cubes like this. You don't even have to peel them, just make sure you core them or just slice around them. And then you're gonna need a cup of finely packed dark brown sugar tablespoon of cinnamon, quarter teaspoon of ground cloves, eighth teaspoon of salt, no, eighth teaspoon of ground cloves, a quarter teaspoon of salt, teaspoon and a half of vanilla, and three quarters of a cup of sugar. And so again, welcome to my kitchen, comidas de mi familia. Let's start cutting up these manzanas. Okay. So finished cutting and this is how I just cut the apples just like this and then I'm going to get them and put them into, rest them into the crock pot. And what I do is I just let them cook overnight and, um, and then they just do very well. I don't put no water in it. I just add all the ingredients, all the sugars and just everything. I mix it all together y ahí estamos. And then, um, so... I just keep it on, on low in my crock pot and it just cooks beautifully. And these apples are delicious. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add all the sugars together and everything. So here's three quarters cups of white sugar, one cup of firmly packed Brown, dark brown sugar, quarter teaspoon of salt. No, an eighth, yeah, quarter teaspoon, an eighth of a teaspoon of ground cloves, tablespoon of cinnamon, and then I put the vanilla here too. Now some people say, oh my God, but it's okay. It, it comes out great. And I just mix it all up. it all up together. It smells so good when you do this. Am I doing this different because you guys uh, aren't seeing me? So now it's all mixed up nice. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pour it in. Scrape my bowl real good because you want to get all your spices out of here. So then I'll pour them in here. Isn't that good? Okay. What do you guys think? Hey, oops, let me move my camera a little bit. There, how's that? So now what I do is I just mix them really well put my, on low, my pressure, my um, crock pot, and I have a nice crock pot, so very nice crock pot. So I just make sure it's, they're all coated nicely. Every piece of apple will be coated. So yes, so welcome to my kitchen. Now you get to see me out there. This is just a nice, easy way of doing things. So I just let them cook. So overnight, you know, a good, all together, let's see. It's uh, five o'clock in the afternoon. So I'll get them out at five o'clock in the morning. 
and um, see what happens. So look, it's all nicely coated. Everything's nicely coated. So let's see how it works in 12 hours. And I just do it like this. It's so simple. It's delicious. And you'll love it. It's such a simple, easy way to make apple butter. Just beautiful way of making it. And so, okay, now we'll put the lid on it. And like I said, I have it on low. And see what happens. See you in 12 hours. Perfect way of doing it. Okay, let's see where we're at. Oh, it smells so delicious in here. I like to mix it a little bit. Look, I don't even have, I didn't even put water in here. Look at that. Oh, it smells delicious. Check that out. It's going to be great. I love it. Mmm, smell a vision. Okay, good morning, everyone. Okay, I'm probably not going to let you see me much. I didn't have a very, I had a very interesting evening. But, anyway, so, oh my gosh, this looks uh amazing so look this is what it looks like so it's been just a little over 12 oops sorry <laughs> this is what it looks like <laughs> it's been a little over 12 hours and um, look at that look at how beautiful it oh my god it smells amazing Look at this. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna put this in my Vitamix. And um, if you have a, one of those, um, what is it called? Well, it's like a submergible <laughs> um, blender, a mixer or blender, yeah. And you put it in there and it goes or whatever. Anyways, um, I don't have one of those. I use my Vitamix. And we're gonna put it in there and then it'll have to cook for another about two hours and it, it, it's just beautiful um, look at this oh my god oh smell a vision okay so now let's let's empty it okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place it in my Vitamix. Okay, and this is how I do it because I don't have one of those, uh, I forget what it's called. But anyway, so I just put it, place it all in here and I'll tell you how many cups it comes because Vitamix is pretty accurate. So just pour it all in here, all of it goes in. I love this Vitamix. The nice part is, is that you know it's hot and everything the Vitamix handles it thank the Lord so anyways I'm not letting you see me because it's the wee hours of the morning like six in the morning here in New Mexico and I like I said you know I let it cook overnight and I don't mess with it you know get up in the middle of the night or whatnot I I'll you know mix it but I had a little bit of a of a, of a scare and um, I ended up in the emergency room but I'm doing fine you know just um, so it was like weird because I was like oh Lord Jesus what am I gonna do I have my apple butter cooking and what am I gonna do and so anyways but you know what the Lord is always faithful and I, I just I give thanks to God for everything so anyway, so I'm home and whatnot and, um, to finish my apple butter. Lord Jesus, what was I going to do? And, uh, but anyway, so, um, so it's in. 
on a messy mess. I, I clean out the really well. Okay, so then in here, put the lid on it. And what I do, place it on my in my on my vitamix. Look at how beautiful that looks. Check it out. So I always get a a towel just in case it splashes. You just don't know. I mean, I always put a towel on top because it's hot. You know, no matter what, it's hot. So I always do this, and then start it slow. Turn it, turn it on. Okay, so there it's, look at that, how pretty it looks. I just love this. So anyways, so now we'll place it back in the crock pot and um, let it cook for another two hours. Look at how beautiful it looks, guys. Be very careful. So I always kind of let it drip out a little bit. Look. Look at that. You can see the steam coming out of here. So I let it just a little bit. Look at this. It looks so good. So good. See? Nice, huh? So then, get your spoon. I hold my spoon down. And I just shake out my container. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, you guys, you could smell the cinnamon and the cloves and <gasps> mm. so anyway, so when I was in the ER, I was showing the, the one of the techs I was doing one of my tests, and she said she could practically smell my um, the apple butter, and um, I thought it was so neat because she was just such a kind, kind person, and we just got to talking. You know, she really helped calm me down, and uh, thank you for purchasing two of my cookbooks. Well, I was there, I got a surprise when I got home and I saw it online. And I thought that was just amazing. So I'm gonna just kind of clean out my lid. cleaned it all out and pretty much look amazing huh guys so anyways so now let me put it in. see and now we still scrape the sides you're gonna have a little bit of the, the sides and it's it's okay right so it gives it your own character of how amazing the apple butter will come out. Okay. See you in two hours. And again, good morning from Margaret's Kitchen, Comidas de Mi Familia. 
We'll talk to you in a minute. Isn't it beautiful? Look at that. Okay, so now what we're going to do is that I don't want to cover it. So you don't want to <coughs> you don't want to seal your crock pot. So I just put it sideways like this. And we'll let it stay like that for two hours. Okay, check it out. Look. Oh my goodness. Look at how nice this is. Look. Perfect. Okay, now we're going to heat the jars up so that we can pan them. Okay, so before we do, you know, we put the jars into my my sink with hot water, boiling water. I have my tea kettle on because I let that boil. So I'm gonna get my pot, and this is the pot that I use. And it's just because I'm making the small jars. So anyways, I'm gonna fill it up halfway with um, hot, hot water. And then in the meantime, I start to get the jars ready. So I'm just using my little half pints. So I think I'm gonna try to get six out. So I'm gonna start with six. And so I don't think I'll have more than that. And I'll probably not even use the six. Maybe, it always depends. I say I won't and then I end up using them all. <laughs> but anyway, so um, I turn that crock pot off. And so I fill the pot up halfway with water. And then I'm gonna let it uh, come to a boil. And once I let it come to a boil, then I place the jars in here. So it's there. <laughs> so I put it on my stove. And you hear the my tea kettle going. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put water in my sink. And it's going to be hot. So see, brand new jars. And everything should be the same temperature. Okay, so here's all the jars. So. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is my kettle's at 400. To tell all the Let's put a little bit of the hot hot water in here. This is something I do. Some added hot water, boiling water. Okay, so then what I do. see the steam. So then, let me move down just a little bit so you can see. Okay. So then you can see I have the funnel, the pretty funnel, and then my jar. And then what I start to do is I start to add, look at that. Oh, you know that's perfect butter. Apple butter. And it's just below the rim is where I fill it. See? So. There it is. Look at this. And it's hot. 
Okay, we'll just set it aside. Do the next one. See how many we get. Well, welcome to Margaret's Kitchen, Comidas de Mi Familia. And you know, the thing about apple butter and anything with apples is that my parents, when they built our house, they had um, they built a, our house from a kit. And it, basically, it was a Jimmy Walters home. I don't know if you guys, anybody remembers that. But anyways, and so um, so my, my father right away, my dad, he was just like, he wanted an he wanted an orchard. That was always his his dream is to have an orchard. So him and my mother ordered all these apple trees and peach trees and um, pear trees and different types of apples because my mother's apples that she loves are the yellow apples, the golden delicious. That was those are her favorite. And so, anyways, so they planted all these trees in the property in in their orchard. Because that was dad's thing. And then mother grew up like that because her grandparents had apple orchards. You know, they had a lot of apples in Villanueva. And so um, so dad really, so it was something near and dear to mother's heart. And it was something dad always wanted to do. So anyways, um, so we had an apple orchard. And... Um, and stuff and so anyway so making apple butter my mother made apple butter she made uh, applesauce and it was you know and then um, and then she always froze apples you know she she would freeze them so she she did what she knew how to do and um, and stuff so this takes me back to to growing up to my family you know to my mother and my father because that was his thing. It was apples. He loved it. And, um, you know, the thing about it is, is that it was so cute because he would tell the kids, mostly Victoria and Rachel, because they were the, they were the only grandchildren for a long time. And until Jacob and Isaac came along. And so anyway, so, um, the girls would go and pick apples and my dad would, he would pay them, uh, I don't know, a penny or something, an apple. And the girls would, you know, come to our neighborhood and they would sell their apples. And, um, you know, and they were, they were organic apples. You know, every so often you'd find a worm in it, you know, but it's okay. It was all good. They were the most delicious apples and my father was so proud of his apples. So then, um, um, the month that he passed away, um, his trees... He only had very few uh, trees left, you know, because eventually, I know, all the, everything, um, you know, dies, right? So, anyway, so what happened is that um, his peach tree, oh my gosh, his peach tree, for the first time in life, gave out the most gorgeous, gorgeous uh peaches and large peaches and so anyways um so talk about being so proud it was about a month before he passed away and he was so so excited um for all his peaches and so i was just you know so anyways so this actually took me back to growing up and how excited dad was you know, with his apples, you know, with all his apples. Oh, it took the six. And it might take one more jar, maybe. And so, anyways, but um, that's what happened. And I always, um, remember, I do not hit my pans with, um, on the, you know, I never hit my, my pans. You know, because I don't like to, I don't want to nick my, my stuff. So, anyway, so I do other things to get all the sobras out. <laughs> but anyway, so, yeah, so that's, um, so it brought me, it brought me way back 
to um, my childhood and stuff. So anyways, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just wiping the jars. Wipe, wipe. Wipe. Look at that. Came out amazing. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get, I use my little magnetic. So you should always have yourself a good canning tools. Oh, hot. Good canning tools. So you just kind of finger tight. You don't want to tighten them to the point that, oh my gosh, you wanted to wait. So you just want to do finger tight. Okay. And so anyway, so yeah, so good memories doing this, you know. And uh, Dad no longer, well, you know, he's no longer with us. And, but he hasn't had apple trees like that in a long time and stuff. So anyways, but yeah, so that's how I, so this brought back a lot, a lot of memories. And I remember my mother when she was making apple butter, I always wondered what the heck is apple butter? You know, I never heard of it. And she did, she made it. And so anyway, so this is how she did it. Um, she didn't have a crock pot, so it was always on the stove in a, in a pan, and she would do it that way, and it'd take a long time, I always remember, and stuff, so, look at how beautiful, so, I'm going to pull one more jar out. Because we have room for one more jar. Hey, did you hear that? Look at that. Put it back in the water. And let's wait a little bit so that we can heat that jar up. Okay, so now I got a, my spatula, my spatula, so that I can scrape the the sides because I want to get all the goodness out of here, and I don't want to miss a a drop of this amazing apple butter. Okay, so let's get our jar out. Let's move this a little bit over there. And the reason you boil your jars is that you do not want to put this hot, you know, anything hot like that into your jars that, that are cold. So you want to you know, you want to be able to put them in the hot jars. Look at that. Yellow! You know, I just thank God every day for giving me the gift of learning of how to do stuff like this and to have the love for it, you know, all the glory belongs to him, you know, and being just blessed to be raised around my family and to learn to do this, you know, and um, so I wish I'd have paid atten more attention to certain things, but unfortunately I didn't, and it's okay, you know, but what I did learn was just Okay, we're done. Seven jars I got out of this. Look at that, how beautiful. Just beautiful. Always make sure your tops are, the tops of your jars are, are clean because you, you want, you need the, the seals to seal once they start to boil. 
So we're gonna go ahead and go over to the stove and place them into the stove, into the pot. So there's the water starting to boil. So once it boils, then we'll place all the jars in there. Okay, so now the water's boiling. And my mother did not have a pressure cooker. She was always very afraid of the pressure cookers. So she didn't have one. So everything she did, she did it like this. She put a towel in the bottom or... And then she would start to put in her jars. So she, like I said, and we were very, we didn't have a lot of money. So to buy a pressure cooker was not something that was in, in my parents' budget. So that was not a, that was not even an option anyway. So anyway, so they may do, my mother always make do with however she could and she made her own pressure cookers but everything was a water bath for her because she like i said she did not she couldn't handle pressure cookers i use pressure cookers but she didn't so anyway so i'm showing you the way she did it and um, her recipe and that's it so now i thought i was gonna have to put some more water but like so you want to make sure that it's a, it's an inch over. And then once it starts to boil, you time it to 10 minutes. So I'm going to place the, the lid on it so it can boil. And it's 10 minutes. Okay, everyone. Are we ready? And look, I even have a piece of toast in my, in the little skillet. <laughs> Just did a little... Easy way today. Let me move my camera up a little bit. So that way we can try everything. Hey! Move it just a tad. Okay. So anyway, so now we're going to take these out. They have boiled. And then, ooh, yeah. Yeah! Look at that. And we should start hearing them pop, pop, pop. And sometimes they're a little lazy and they take a little more time, but they will pop. Look at that. Oh my goodness. And the reason I put the towel on the bottom is that you don't want your jars to tap each other because then they can break. So, and you don't want them to break. I've never had any of them break, but still, you know, you hear those scary things happening. Oh my God, check it out, look. Delicious. Nice. So anyways, I'm gonna turn this off. I'm gonna get my little piece of toast out. Um, this is a nice, it's kind of like making a, como se dice, um, grilled cheese, verdad? And so anyways, so I'm gonna do it. I just did it this way. It's just easy. I want to get the toaster out because I had a little bit of scrapings of the apple butter. And so anyways, un poquitito, ¿verdad? So anyways, oops, I wasn't gonna do that. So, ah, so get your little apple butter and you just, it was perfect enough for the toast, Mira. Get all those delicious little bits of the apple butter. I'm gonna move this. Look at that. Look, perfect on toast. I bet how it tastes. Mmm. Yes. Now this is amazing. Mmm. I love it. You guys, remember to be nice. Remember to say your prayers and thank you for praying for me. I'm feeling a little bit better this 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 at noon today, and um, it was a scare last night, but I'm good. I'm gonna be on the road to recovery. So, oh, did you hear that? I heard it. Ooh, yeah. But anyways, music to our ears. Thank you all, and remember, if you haven't ordered my authentic New Mexico cookbook. 
comidas de mi familia, tu sangre es tu sangre, www.nmcookbookmariabaca.com. And so anyways, uh, thank you all again for being a part of Margaret's Kitchen. Thank you for just being a part of my life. And don't forget, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Please subscribe. And um, I'm so excited because my channel's growing and I'm excited about that. And it's all because of you and, um, and stuff. So God bless you. Talk to you later. Buen provecho.